Pomona's one of our older ones, built in the 40s, of 1944, 45, I'm finding out. And we have about 500 apartments here, and about, well, you see some of them are boarded up. Like you can see on that building right there, like the metal on the wall there, on the doors, and then whatever. That unit is being is getting ready for abatement. We have a construction crew here right now. Back in the 40s, when they did some of the building, they installed in the older properties, and a lot of people may understand that, asbestos products. So what we found out is asbestos is obviously now we all know not good at all and can cause cancer. So if we have a tenant that vacates a unit and we see that, we immediately close that unit down. That is why that unit is like that now and they'll stay that way until we get to it and can make it more habitable. Same thing we do with lead, okay? And almost every teacher and stuff probably has some degree of training in lead, especially on the younger kids, because just so much lead affects their learning ability. And so we're aware of that as management of the property and we look for things like that. If you send us any student and they have a high level of blood, elevated blood level of lead in there, we immediately do a deep investigation to that apartment, we bring in our experts, environmental people, and start doing a wipe search and things to see, is it because here or somewhere else? But it could also be happening because of someone's job. Okay, the residents here, the residents here, like all the city residents, and I just happen to have here, today is my uh, community meeting, uh, which will be in the gymnasium here. All of our residents have a lease booklet. They must sign a lease with the city, English and Spanish, to abide by certain rules and conditions and things, like residential rules. Okay, any violation of these rules can get you.